Though rail fans at the time may not have realized it, the 1980s and 90s were still a time of variety on America's railroads. The line passing the old Mopac station at Kirkwood, Missouri was a prime example. And not just for the Wisconsin Central ST-45 and the consist of this eastbound Union Pacific freight. As part of UP's 1982 takeover of the Mopac, Southern Pacific subsidiary St. Louis Southwestern, better known as the Cotton Belt, was granted trackage rights between Kansas City and St. Louis. This allowed SP access to St. Louis from the west without an expensive rebuild of a Rock Island line acquired on that railroad's 1980 liquidation. It also resulted in SP trains operating over two UP lines into St. Louis, as Cotton Belt and Mopac trains had run side by side on the Chester subdivision since the early 20th century. Kirkwood has long been a rail fan hotspot, located at the summit of the westbound grade out of St. Louis and the eastbound grade out of the Merrimack River Valley. It's also a busy Amtrak stop, serving the western St. Louis suburbs on the well-traveled run to Kansas City. At the time these scenes were filmed, in January 1989, UP had nearly completed the absorption of the Motive Power rosters of its merger partners. However, an occasional Mopac or Katy unit would still make an appearance. This, combined with trains from the SP, made for an interesting mix. A Missouri, Kansas, and Texas GP40 leads a Mopac SD40-2 on an eastbound to Kirkwood. A Katie caboose brings up the rear. SD40-2 number 6071 would be one of the last locomotives to wear Mopac blue. SP was known for its short and fast sprint intermodal trains. From the Jefferson City subdivision, we move across the Mississippi to the Chester subdivision in Illinois. Passing through Dupo is southbound East St. Louis to Houston freight ASHOQ. SP trains operated to and from Alton and Southern's Gateway Yard. UP also had its own former Mopac facility in Dupo, where B23-7 number 129 was caught switching. Trains of both railroads operated side by side the length of the line, crossing the Mississippi River at Thebes. In Missouri, SP owned the line from the river to Dexter, where the two went their separate ways. Northbound Houston to Chicago HOCH appears out of the fog at Gorham, Illinois. Gorham is the location where the Chicago subdivision joins the Chester sub. HOCH is seen diverging onto the route to Chicago. As the UP train clears, a southbound SP train is seen approaching.
Down on the riverfront at Thebes, a northbound UP crosses the Mississippi and brings our program to a close. Union Pacific took over the Southern Pacific in 1996, and soon a flood of yellow paint would bring an era to an end. UP's trains continue to run over these lines, but today's trains lack the variety of a quarter century ago.